Hello everyone, today in this video we're going to show you some of the most powerful weapons and the countries having these weapons. Let's get into the detail. Seven Anti-Satellite Weapons Anti-Satellite Weapons ASAT, are space weapons designed to incapacitate or destroy satellites for strategic military purposes. Anti-satellite missiles can be deployed against enemy satellites, disrupting crucial intelligence during war. Although no ASAT system has yet been utilized in warfare, a few nations have shot down their own satellites to demonstrate their ASAT capabilities. Only the United States, Russia, China, and India have this technology at the moment. Number 6. Nuclear-Powered Submarines A nuclear submarine is a submarine powered by a nuclear reactor. The advantages of nuclear submarines over conventional or typically diesel electric is huge. Nuclear propulsion being completely independent of air frees the submarine from the need to surface frequently, as is necessary for conventional submarines. The large amount of power generated by a nuclear reactor allows nuclear submarines to operate at high speeds for long periods of time which is not possible in diesel-electric submarines. The tremendous power on tap allows a nuclear sub to travel above 30 knots continuously. Most diesel-electric subs have a top speed of a little over 20 knots, and then only for a short time. Due to the high cost of nuclear technology, only United States, Russia, China, UK, India, and France have fielded nuclear submarines. Number 5. Missile Defense System an anti-ballistic missile, or ABM, is a surface-to-air missile designed to counter ballistic missiles. Originally conceived as a defense against nuclear-armed intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, its application has broadened to include shorter-ranged, non-nuclear tactical and theater missiles. At present, the United States, Russia, China, India, Israel, France, UK, and Taiwan have all developed their own missile defense systems. Number 4. Multiple Independently Targetable Reentry Vehicle, or MIRV A multiple independent targetable reentry vehicle, or MIRV, is a missile payload containing several warheads, each capable of firing at different targets. In this, a single missile carries several warheads and can be aimed at multiple targets. This reduces the effectiveness of an anti-ballistic missile system that relies on intercepting individual warheads. MIRV also provides greater target damage for a given thermonuclear weapon payload. Several smaller and lower yield warheads cause much more target damage area than a single warhead alone. Currently, only China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States are currently confirmed to possess functional MIRV missile systems. India, Israel, and Pakistan are known or suspected to be developing or possessing MIRVs. Number 3. Stealth Fighter Jets A stealth fighter jet is a fighter jet designed to avoid detection using a variety of technologies that reduce reflection of radar, infrared, visible light, radio frequency spectrum, and audio, collectively known as stealth technology. Although no aircraft is totally invisible to radar, stealth aircraft make it more difficult to detect or track the aircraft effectively by enemy radars. As of now, these are the most advanced aircraft. Currently, the United States, Russia, and China have all developed its own stealth fighter jets. Japan, India, and Turkey are also currently developing its own stealth fighter jets. Number 2. Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBM. An intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM, is a guided ballistic missile with a minimum range of 5,500 kilometers, primarily designed for nuclear weapons delivery. Currently, China, United States, Russia, India, Israel, North Korea, UK, and France are the only countries that have operational ICBMs. Number 1. Aircraft Carriers Aircraft carriers are mainly a means of projecting power. Well, you cannot be a global power unless you have aircraft carriers. The advantage of having aircraft carriers is mammoth. They can provide effective air defense and offense capabilities for an entire battle group. They serve as a seagoing airbase equipped with a full-length flight deck and facilities for carrying, arming, deploying, and recovering aircraft. 
While the cost for making an aircraft carries ranges from $2.5 billion to $13 billion, modern supercarriers like Gerald R. Ford class of United States cost around 13 billion US dollars. Currently, only the United States, Russia, China, India, UK, and France have aircraft carriers, while few other countries have helicopter carriers.